Well, well, well. What have we here? It seems like you have an interest in rhythms. I like you already. Welcome to this Mac Pro video course called Understanding Rhythm. My name is Yogev Gabay. I'm a drummer and educator. And as you can see, artistically, I am still six years old. And yes, in case you were wondering, it is allergy season, which I'm sure you can hear in my voice. I don't know what I did in a previous life to deserve this. Uh, maybe I was a guitar player or something. I am kidding. I am kidding, but only a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm a drummer. I'm at the bottom of the food chain. Anyway, I can joke up. That's fine. Anyway, you might know me from my YouTube channel, Time Consuming, where I analyze super complex songs in what hopes to be a simple and approachable delivery. But you might also not know me at all, in which case, uh, go check out my YouTube channel, Time Consuming, where I analyze super complex songs in what hopes to be a simple and approachable delivery. Well, that was pretty redundant. Anyhow, welcome. In this course, I'll be diving into the very basics of the rhythmic side of music. I'll go over how to count stuff, why to count stuff, and why you should even care. I'll go over time signatures, what they are, who they are, and why they exist, note values and subdivisions and their effects on the listener, tempo and perception, and finally I'll combine them all and see where we can go with it. While this course can seem to be directed towards beginners, I think it can also serve as a good reinforcement for some advanced musicians who might need to settle some rhythmic details in their mind. Now, before I jump in, a short disclaimer. Music theory and perception varies according to genre, culture, and personal experience. So, naturally, this course is going to be reflecting my own personal take on this. And as I said, I'm a drummer. I play some styles, but not all styles. So keep that in mind. I'm sure that if this course was taught by, I don't know, a classically trained Hungarian pianist, the material here would be presented in a slightly different way. Cool? Cool. So first, some background. I mean, which you'll find in tutorial number two, so go to the next one. 